Hey guys, did you know that you are psychic? And everyone else is too. So the thing is, everyone is psychic. Everyone has clairvoyant abilities and intuitiveness. A lot of people, sadly though, they just block it out. Whether it's something you do when you're a child and you decide one day that you don't like this knowing things, so you block it out, or your parents tell you knock that off when you start predicting things and you start freaking them out. Um, other people do it through the subconscious style that we've adapted to eating poor foods and bad foods, um, things that actually calcify and block our third eye. And, um, you know, there's so many things we can do to heal it. It could be, the first thing would be stop eating fast food. Uh, the second thing would be eat a little more healthy, eat organic when you can, you know. Um, it, drink more water and try not to do the whole fluoride thing. Try to stay away from it. So in your toothpaste and stuff, try to get non-fluoridated um, items. And also, it's the things that we do and the, the vibrations that we we live through, if we're literally punishing ourselves for knowing things and we're blocking it out, then you're never going to find that psychic intuitiveness again because you don't want it. So if you have to want it, but you can't obsess over it either because the problem when you obsess over it is that you start pushing it away because then your fear and you, you feel like you can't ever obtain it fully. So you always want to be positive about it and just trust it and let it happen. Um, but there's little things you can do, um, like uh, the sun gazing. So you can go every morning, and please read on this more before you start staring at the sun. But you stare at the sun for morning or for the morning sunrise or the afternoon sunset, and you start with 10 seconds. And every day you add 10 seconds, and you do it at the softest light. So it's right before that sunrise fully emerges, or right before the sunset fully goes down, um, and you just literally you gaze into the sun and you let the light and energy of the sun heal your third eye and you feel it you feel the warmth you feel it all embracing your third eye you feel it healing cleansing and actually i read a long time ago that this was something that the popes and the high ups used to do and if you were ever caught doing this as a commoner you could be hung or set for trial so there's something to be said about that if the pope was doing it to have a higher consciousness and how you know they didn't want to let the little guys rise up so they were like don't do it too um, but there's that, there's things like surrounding yourself with purple, like my office, uh, purple is connected to the sixth chakra, which is your third eye. Uh, so it works with healing and activating it and laying that energy flow. There's certain herbs and crystals that help like lavender, amethyst, um, also because they're purple, like just surrounding yourself with purple, wearing more purple. I love purple. And a lot of times I notice that people who naturally love purple, their aura is really purple. They're really intuitive. They're really naturally clairvoyantly abundant. And a lot of them choose to block it out and they don't understand why they love purple. They didn't know that their aura was purple or that the reason why they knew things was because their third eye is so active and it's trying to basically speak out and they're literally ignoring it. Um, children actually are really naturally psychically inclined and you'll know when, you know, sometimes people see their children talking to spirits or angels or fairies and that's because they are there in a different dimension, but the children can see them because they haven't blocked out all the things of magic. They ha they still believe. They believe in so much of magic. They believe in the magic of a butterfly flying by, you know, um, so many things. Um, but the thing with Third Eye, too, is that it helps us to better understand our own path and our own life. So if you're not opening and working on activating your Third Eye, you start to basically drift away from your true life calling and understanding what it is that makes you truly happy because you're simply blocking it out. Uh, there's meditations you can do to open your third eye and if you meditate and you pronounce pronunciate the word though and you say it really slow almost like a song so you're like though there's a vibration and it's really that that piece in your your tongue and your teeth where you feel that the sorry about my dog and the 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 sound you'll feel it vibrating to your third eye 
And there's other things like the Shiva's Eye Agate Stone. It is a great stone for meditation. If you want to sit and meditate with it, you'll feel it activating your third eye. And as you can see, it, it takes the form of an eye. <laughs> um, but it is shaped this way. It doesn't come naturally like this way, but it does come naturally with the layers in it. So the natural from the brown to the black, and then it's shaped. It comes up on the sand and it's shaped. You can get these on my website too. Um, I'll put the link below. And, um, you know, purple, crystals, herbs, the way you eat, the things you're saying to yourself, you can start using daily affirmations as well. Uh, simple affirmations such as, I am profoundly clairvoyant, my intuition is heightened, and I my psychic abilities are in full abundance. And repeating something as simple like that every day and feeling it though, you gotta believe it. That's the whole part of magic is believing. Disney said it best. and. If you don't believe it, you're not really helping yourself. You can do little exercises too, like guessing what's in a box, having a friend, pairing up together and putting an object in little boxes or, you know, under a cup and trying to feel and see what is on in that cup or under the cup or do it with um, index cards and writing like a number or a letter on the back and just trying to feel it out that way. and. Practicing with each other, you and a friend can do it. It's really good. It's really, um, you'll feel it strengthening because all of a sudden you start getting better. But if you feel that you're failing too much, don't let it get to you. Just take a break, go back at it like a couple days later and see that your clairvoyance is still there. It doesn't just go away overnight. It's something that we've suppressed for so long that we have to rebuild. We have to build it back up again and we have to make it something that's a part of our daily lives because if you're not working all the time on it, you're not gonna have success with it. Just like if you're working out, if you want those abs, you gotta do the crunches, you gotta do the sit-ups. You can't just do them one day and say, okay, I should have abs now. It's something that you build up to. It's something that you work on constantly. And it's something that's so profoundly amazing once you feel little tidbits of it opening up and you're like, I knew that, I heard that. How did I know that? And then you know it's your higher self, your higher consciousness. You're channeling something so much greater than this third dimensional physical realm. So it's it's really important to activate your third eye and have it healthy and have it in abundance because when you do, your whole life is so much more beautiful. You understand things. You understand the symbolism around you. You understand why things come into your life when they do because you're working at such a higher frequency level and color like my walls being purple color it lets off a vibration and that vibration works through my vibration and it heals that vibration so it's it's not a quick path but it's not a difficult one it just takes practice and patience and just healing you can heal your third eye in those so many different ways um, I will post the blog uh, that I wrote on this so that you can read more in depth in case there's anything I did miss. And that link will be below the video. And if you like this video, please like it. And you can always subscribe to my channel for more videos like this for inspirational guidance. This is the White Witch Parlor and I'm Jenna. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next week. Blessed be.